video. I think she's making a video. Hello. Um, yeah, if you've been here before, I'm happy to see you again. I guess more you seeing me again, but you know, leave a comment, be in touch, and don't be a stranger. Um, if you haven't been here before, hello, I'm Johanna. I am a gardener and a forager, foraging gardener, and I am um, all sorts of other things. I don't know, a person that likes doing things. But in terms of videos, I want to start making some more gardening videos and foraging videos and all sorts of fun things, such as cordage making. I've been making a lot of cordage lately, um, such as this ribbed plantain cordage. It looks very beautiful. It's quite magical. It can just dangle on your arm. Um, yeah, I also paint. I love mushrooms. I love painting mushrooms. I just found this in the bottom of my cupboard. Um, and I started this last year, so I thought, you know, today could be the day that I finally finish it because mushroom peak season is upon us and I am very excited. Um, I've not really been well enough to make videos for a while because um, I had the COVID and yeah, there's just a lot of after COVID tiredness and unwellness going on so do be careful out there you know and i hope you're you're safe and you get your vaccinations and yeah basically i think that's about it today i thought i kind of talk about some mushrooms that i foraged because i found some amazing birch protocol and some turkey tails and they just smell so good and i'm gonna just kind of talk about how I use them, process them, what they are. So if you're interested in that, stick around. And I'm always open for suggestions, you know, garden and foraging related things, maybe crafty things. And I, yeah, I just hope to be around a bit more here. Um, because yeah, I recently graduated horticulture. I'm now done with university, which is a funny feeling. Um, but it's also exciting because I think I was I was ready to be done with it. Um, so yeah, I'm also maybe going to be answering some questions around horticulture, studying horticulture, uh, what it is, you know, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, feel free to get in touch or ask anything, comment anything. Um, not that I know everything at all. I just I'm just one person who did a horticulture degree. There is many many more out there, and there's many different degrees all over the world. So it's not like you know, don't take everything I say as truth or whatever. <laughs> Just like, don't do that in general, you know? Um, but yeah, enjoy. <laughs> so, if you are into mushrooms, I highly recommend this particular book. It's Mushrooms by Roger Phillips, and it's so good. It has all sorts of amazing reference images in it. And today, oh, interesting, I'm going to be finishing a certain bleed. cute little forage going on here so I picked some crab apples rowan berries um, and these together will make a great jelly basically because the apples will help the jelly set and the rowan berries I mean yeah they are poisonous like this but when you cook them 
or like you know make a jelly or something with them um they are actually indeed edible but they do need quite a lot of sugar because they do have like a very strong taste um yeah these are like all the little crab apples look at these guys they're all so different and they've all got so much character <laughs> i love them um and this uh is a poly Pore, a birch polypore it's an incredible medicinal mushroom um, the sort of like bottom layer you can use as a plaster if you like cut a little square out it like sticks to your finger if it's fresh so if you like experience a cut or something when you're out and about and you find one of these guys definitely put it on there because it's like highly antibacterial um, quite good for open wounds um, here so you see how the sort of bottom layer of the pores comes off quite easily. This thing here is your plaster. Imagine you have a cut, you just put that right on. It's quite sticky, I mean it did just break, but um, you could leave it on your finger and it will help disinfect kind of your wound basically. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you have some sort of cut going on. Basically, you kind of just make, you know, decoctions out of them. If you don't know what a decoction is, it's like um, sort of a tea, but you'd like just boil it for a really long time. Well, not boil it, but like simmer it. Um, and that's how you can get like the medicinal properties out of these guys and any mushrooms, really. So these ones here, if you've not seen these before, ah, these are turkey tails because they do kind of resemble the tail of a turkey. Um, they look a bit like little fans, um, however, there's a problem with these guys, occasionally there's like a little bug in them that just eats its way through. So this guy has some white stuff on it, which is the mushroom being eaten um, by this little beetle or whatever, or larva. So you do need to like look properly and see that you don't have a little bug living in it because then, unfortunately, your mushrooms shall be eaten. And that happened to me last year because all of them were just like bug infested. <laughs> and they're really just going to go into the dehydrator um, so they can get nice and dry. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can do it in the oven. Try not to roast them though, and you can also leave them out. So, here we've got our little mushroom. <laughs> it smells incredible. Now, this is just going to go in the dehydrator. Um, some people will powder these. Once they're dry, you know, it really depends on what you have available. Um, and yeah, you can also just use these fresh if you wanted to. Make a decoction with it now. But it just really depends. There's no rules. Um, yeah, so I'll pop this in the dehydrator now. Da -da -da -da. And this, this is some dryad saddle. Oops that I dehydrated. I mean, it was a very small dried saddle mushroom, but um, this is kind of what it looks like, you know, it shrinks down quite a lot. And yeah, I'll put it in a little pot and I'll use this for stock, basically. And a little earth star. Look, this was the spores. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful.
found the first few jelly ears. Do, 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 do. Well, they're around all year long, but I haven't seen them in a while. forage um this little guy is a brown birch bleed but i collected that yesterday actually and these are some chanterelles which we're going to some risotto this evening but today i picked some beautiful rowan berries these are very common even if you live in like urban areas you know um and then some of these in here are hawthorn berries because i collected them in the same um in the same bag but mainly these are from the yew tree these ones here they're from the yew tree and yew tree berries are very poisonous um but only the seed part of it um so you can eat them as long as you remove the seed basically and i picked a bunch which I'm probably gonna use for like porridge or something and these little hawthorns over here and these are rose hips um, they'll probably go into a jelly um, with the rowan and the crab apples um, yeah it's been a very lovely foraging year for me actually so for um, wild food identification I have I think I've recommended this before but I've, if you live in the UK I really recommend this book by Wild Food UK because especially with mushrooms it tells you exactly what the possible confusions would be um, and how you know safe it would be to eat um, especially for a beginner forager and this mushroom here for example is a brown birch bolete and the way I know that is because well firstly it grew with birches which is always a really important thing to look at when you are foraging for mushrooms uh, what trees kind of grow around it um, and then what connection they grow to certain plants or trees around the area and it's, it says it doesn't taste like much flavor wise that's why I'm just curious to taste it I haven't ever tasted this one I've only ever had seps actually um, but I'm just gonna try it basically um, and the only other thing it could look like or like it's similar like it's other other beliefs basically for example the orange one but that one is very clearly a lot more orange um i'm gonna just try and eat this little guy and see how he tastes actually <laughs> <laughs> 